I call in South Africa, Southern Africa, but specifically South Africa, is important. There were many fossils found, and we've just mentioned a few. And there yeah. you can see the map. Yeah, they can they can really go through. There you have Makapanshat there. There you have the Sterkfontein Caves and Dahung. So go through and look where, what is South Africa's yeah. contribution. There's also the Flores Batman in, in, in Bloemfontein area. And um, outside South Africa, of course, this is the one that we've showed you there, the one that was found in Chad, the, the boy of Tomai. And then at the old Duvai Gorge here, we have the Nutcracker Man. Look at this strong jaw bone here. Mm. And then the footprints of Lytoli that we will show you here. Fantastic. It is. And this, you can definitely see the big toe away from the others, which means this is mm. definitely not a chimpanzee. But you can see the big, the adult here with a little one running. And this was over mm. a, vol a volcano, volcanic ash that landed and the rain set down. And that is why it's cemented like that. And, and Colin, there's just a important. question here before we get to this mm -hmm. last section. Why is Karabo classified a South African fossil? While it was discovered in Botswana, we had four questions. Karabo was not discovered in Botswana. It was discovered at the Starkfontein Caves, which is just outside the Pretoria-Johannesburg area. Definitely South African. Okay, um, there are proof of the fact, many proofs, types of proofs, that the human evolved from Southern African ancestors. And won't you take us to the first of these? Yeah, and um, you must be able to describe what evidence is there, and we use DNA analysis to do that. So um, we can take DNA and trace the ancestors of um, these individuals, and this is, this is quite interesting because we use uh, mutations that serve as markers. And um, so far, I'm going to give you one example there you can use the DNA from the Y chromosome because the, um, the major part of the Y chromosome, because it doesn't have another mate, it can, can't undergo crossing over. So those mutations remain unchanged and that is why we use those mutations. Then it is passed on. Remember, it's your uh, boys get their Y chromosome from their father. And uh, this is passed then on from, from father to son and so on. So we can trace those mutations within the Y chromosome. And there was research was done on mm. this. There was a DNA study and they've taken 12,000 males and the, they've studied the Y chromosomes in Asia. And they were looking for those three specific mutations that they know that have originated in Africa. And each one of those 12,000 people carried one of the three, at yeah. least one of the I three mutations. I think they've so far, because with the Y chromosomes, um, all men coming from just about five or six males yes. in the world originally, and all of them from Africa. Yeah. There's also the mitochondrial DNA, and that is transferred from the mother to the children, both the sons and the daughters, but the sons can't carry it on. It's only the daughters that will contribute that. Now, uh, um, the mitochondria of a sperm cell does not go into the egg cell, and there you can see what, where the mitochondrium is, and uh, that part breaks off, so it's only the egg cell that will contribute to a child's mitochondria. And once again, looking at the mutations in the mitochondrial DNA, we could follow the female line of descent, coming from just one female with her origin in Africa, and specifically Southern Africa. So, yes, the female lineage, very easy to trace because of the rate of the mutations, and uh, that's another type of evidence. Also, if we can, so this is now, we've got the Y chromosome, the mitochondrial DNA, and we also have fossils of the oldest um, ancestors of modern man in and australopithic scenes in Africa. So all of those point to the fact that we developed from Africa. So, yeah, and I think it's important mm. what, that you emphasize that. Because, so now we know we can take this evidence and once again we look at the oldest fossils, we look at the 
old as we look also at the, the, the chromosomes, the, the DNA, the Y chromosome, we go far back and see that the, the, the origin is here on the African continent as well as the oldest female can be traced back to Africa.